You won. You won. As you guys know, last night, I got robbed. Robbed. Um, I'm going to try to do this in one take because I'm really angry right now. I'm, I'm, I'm really angry right now. But it seems like the same type of niggas that are supposed to support you, bro, don't support you, bro. It be your own people, bro. Your own people with you, bro. Your own people with you, bro. And I'm really trying not to dislike certain types of people, bro. I'm really trying not to, bro. But literally, I cannot do this no more, bro. I'm trying to be the best streamer for you guys, bro. My dream is to be one of the best content creators. Do YouTube, do Twitch, do any, all this, right? And I can't do that when you guys are with me every time I go fly, bro. Every time, bro. Literally, bro. I'm sorry. Um, y'all don't, y'all don't. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold it. Um, I think, I think, I think y'all, bro, that the ones that support me, bro, that, that got me out of being homeless, that, um, that brought me to where I am today, bro. But like, I just, I don't know if I can keep doing this, man. I don't know what I'm doing to get all this hate. I'm just trying to be the best streamer, bro. I'm trying my hardest, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I want y'all to help me, man. But I don't think I can take this. So I already know that you're going to have some people that's going to skip over everything that took place, everything that this young man was expressing, just to simply state. Why is it that black people are the only ones that get on social media and tell everybody the business and what's going on in home and in home it should just stay in. We should just handle everything, you know, in home and stop allowing people to know the ins and outs and everything that is going on and yada, yada, yada and wah, wah, wah. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. This young man is just simply expressing the hurt and the pain that he is going through at this moment in time, because I want people to understand something. This young man was actually homeless at a moment in time. He was actually homeless, right? And due to the fact that he decided to do this MPC or, you know, do the whole Miles Morales type of thing, this got him off the streets. And you have a lot of people talking about, oh, he's just, you know, crying and he's earning all of this money and ah, I can't stand this younger generation. This dude was homeless. He, he was literally homeless. You you more than likely every all these adults are sitting up here complaining, talking, you know, trying to oh, we're about to play the tiniest violin, like doing all of that. It's like, yo, y'all ain't never been homeless, but y'all bums, though. A lot of y'all ain't never been homeless, but y'all bums. This man is literally living a dream of something of which you could not understand the magnitude of. He did something, something that he was just doing for fun, and it elevated his life to heights that he never thought was even possible. He's doing something that he was just doing for fun, something some people would just consider a hobby, and it became his job. While everybody else complaining about what it is that he is talking about is still working a standard issue nine to five, Still doing the paycheck to paycheck, still suffering and struggling, still having arguments and all these other types of uh, whatnot with family, still going through whatever, you know, mental, psychological, you know, issues that they have to face every single day. 
And it's like the funniest thing is it's, it's crazy to me that when you have a lot of people that have never been successful in anything, they'll decide to dogpile on somebody that is going through a situation and act like they can't have any type of empathy or sympathy for another person because they're doing something that, you know, everybody else doesn't get the chance to do. What does that even mean? What realistically does that even mean? Like, do, do people not even understand how close this young man was to even losing his life? But then you have so many people like underneath the TikTok that he placed. I want to say he had close to about 16,000 comments. And a lot of the comments were people laughing, making fun of the situation. And it's like, that's where the society is. You got so many sad people out here. So many people that lack the belief and faith in, in oneself to accomplish anything that they want to dogpile on somebody else that actually was successful. And they think that it's okay because you got other people co-signing and feeling the exact same way that you feel. That's crazy. And people wonder why it is that when they happen to do stuff or they get, get online or they express their, their feelings or their sentiments about certain things, even if it may be personal, people wonder why it is that they don't get the response that they feel that they should deserve. They, they feel that they should actually get. This is why. And I keep trying to tell people that energy carries. I keep trying to tell people, keep trying to tell people, keep trying to tell people, energy carries. So the stuff that you decide to do and bring on to another person is going to come right back. It's real simple. People make it more difficult than what it needs to be, but it's a very simple thing to understand. And a lot of those people in that comment section on his own TikTok are going to have a lot of suffering ahead of them because they ain't doing nothing but hoping and wishing. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. You got a lot of people out here who are watching your success and they're waiting for your downfall. They're waiting so that they can be there and be the first person to say, oh, I told you so. I, I knew this wouldn't sit up there and work. I, I, I just had a feeling. I just had an inkling. It wasn't going to. You will always have those people. And a lot of those people are following his page. Funny because a lot of the times these people, you don't even know who they are. You don't know where they're from, anything like that. So all the times you're making videos, all the times you're being positive, these people never show up. But the moment in time they even catch a whiff, a sniff, an aroma of anything bad or negative happening specifically to you, now they want to be the main ones to pipe up. It's crazy how it works. And, and again, this is why I can empathize with this young man because I, I understand. You know, um when you have your own people the people that you feel that that are supposed to you know love you the, the people that are supposed to actually um you know care right they are the main ones that inevitably will be the ones to hurt you the one thing that i admire about this is that he is being directly open about all of these things including the feelings that he has because i know that it is a very hard battle to stop yourself from in a sense hating or bringing, you know, that negative energy towards your own people whenever you happen to see them because of how it is that you were treated, how it is that you were put into that situation, how it is that your life could have changed, that you could no longer be breathing because somebody who looks just like you decided to affect you in a negative light. And then you have comments like this. The Mighty Keith, and this is a content creator. Some people may know of his content, may not, but he makes very great comedic, you know, content makes people laugh and, and stuff like that. But he decided to state this. I don't know how, if he cut out for the content creator life, he has seen a lot of benefits, which is good, but these hard times sadly come with the territory and he never seems to be able to handle it. No, nigga. No, this just wasn't it. You know, like I said before, uh, sometimes people step out of place, uh, you know, when it deals with certain situations and they feel that they could actually speak on certain topics. This is not it. This is this is not it. This is not it. This is not it. You're going to say, I don't know if he's cut out for this content creator life because he's out here. Telling, like I said, I, I don't know the other situations that he may have gone through, but I'm talking about this one specific situation of which we were able to uh 
get a peek into we were able to get an understanding of this is the specific one that you decided that you wanted to leave a comment on and uh this wasn't it this this man got robbed he nearly had his life flash he well not nearly he had his life flash before his eyes and you're like i don't think he's you know cut out for this content creator like he's not a professional fighter this is we're not talking about a dude who go out there and just puts his life out online or risk his life every single day and you know he should pretty much be used to it this is a dude who just does stuff to entertain other people directly out there right and again he he got everything from the mud he did all of this himself nobody can sit up there and take credit for this for for anything that he's doing any of us can't nobody do that he did that and he's going through an issue where he is trying to fight the feelings of hatred when it deals with seeing his own people because of this moment and some people are going to sit up there and say like well i understand but you you, you can't sit up there and you know put this on everybody that's black like you, you just can't nah but you got to understand what happens you got to understand what happens and then knowing the fact that more than likely it wasn't just one person that did this it was probably multiple guys that were there so at any moment in time somebody could have actually stopped something somebody could have just gained a conscience to be like you know what this is wrong we shouldn't be doing this let's just you know let's let's just leave the situation there's been umpteen videos that i've seen where you have had a black man getting robbed or something is happening to him and then people just sit up there and pull out camera phones and watch i promise you that in a lot of instances if this young man uh, was in in a crowd and, and people decided to do this a lot of people would have just pulled out a phone and they just would have been watching they would have been the, the first ones to try to upload it to ig first ones to try to upload it to youtube first ones to try to upload it to tiktok so they could just start up their own platform and start getting a whole bunch of views and start telling their side to the story and, and all it, it would just be that whole thing in every single story would be yeah i was there I saw what happened. It's bad what happened. So let me sit up there and, and make a, a story about how I was affected and how I feel like I was a victim in it too. It happens every single time, especially on TikTok. Another person, he's struggling to comprehend the fact that going, mmm, yum, ice cream for money didn't give him the fame and success he had hoped for. Try Wendy's, dude. What? Another person, Gotta man up and figure it out, brother. Don't let anyone get in between you and your hustle. And don't do this anymore. Man, never show your hand to anyone. What? Another person said, don't quit because your own people tried to rob you. This is what comes with life. Stop taking it personal. It happens to all of us. You just have to roll with the punches and understand who you are and how to move. We all know we're in a society that doesn't work in your favor. You make me sick. Another person said, I mean, when you do NPC live streams, nobody's going to take you serious. He can't blame people for the way he acts. That's his fault. It's a life lesson and he's just blind by the signs. I can't feel bad for him. If you can't act serious, people won't take you serious. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. And this is why I state to people why a lot of people just should not be allowed on the internet to talk to or be around other people, because a lot of y'all don't need to. Y'all just don't know what it is to sit up there and say, because y'all ain't never have healthy relationships with people. Like, I don't even know what this is. You're like, oh, it comes with the territory. Uh, it happens to, you know, everybody. Uh, you know, you got to roll with the pup. Dude, he could have very easily lost his life. He's a young dude. Like, I'm not sure what type of life you lived in what city where you were just getting robbed like this every single day to the point where it's like, uh, you know, I'm desensitized to this. You know, it is what it is. You know, you toughen up. <laughs> you just roll with the punches. Like, <laughs> just last week, I got robbed like 19 times. <laughs> this is normal out here. Right? I, like I said, I get tired of, like, a lot of dudes out here just acting like they were just, like, the toughest thing since the beginning of Christ. It, it's the, man, it's what what's happening? Like, what is really happening out here where dudes are like, yeah, man, it is what it is. You, 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 you could have, you know, you potentially almost lost your life. You know, it happens to people every day. Huh? 
<laughs> and he's supposed to be okay with that. He ain't supposed to feel no type of way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If this was one of the, if this man even has kids, if this is one of his kids that this happened to, he would be furious. He wouldn't be online saying some dumb assetry such as this. Where it's like, that's, you just got to roll the punches. And then you got the other clown wanting to sit up there and say like, oh, well, you know, you're doing this NPC stuff. Huh? You know, nobody's going to take you serious. Well, you know, maybe if you actually did more serious things, you know, people will take you more serious and would try to rob you. Nah, like people are still, if, if people want to sit up there and try to take something from you that they see that you got, that they want, they're going to do it. You didn't have people who who run the block, sell drugs. You didn't have gang members. The hardest of the hardest people get robbed. And you sitting up here talking about if you do more serious stuff, then people will take you more serious and this wouldn't happen. What type of lies are you telling? Like, yo, I, like I swear to goodness, like a lot of people live such fairy tale lives when they're online. They just perceive and make themselves to be whatever it is. And a lot of guys online, 90 plus percent of the time, they always try to make it as if they are just the toughest guys directly out here. They can knock any dude out. They can sit up there and they're bulletproof. They can sit up there and stop an asteroid. If they stump the ground, the earth will stop spinning. Like It's the craziest thing. It's the craziest thing how people will decide to portray themselves online. But yet this is not their everyday life. And we know this to be the case. Like it's like I said, I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. This is just like I said, looking through a lot of the comments, it, it's it's terrible. And this is just a few that I want to grab that were directly on Twitter. Uh, but if you happen to go directly onto his actual platform, you will see all of the, the, the comments that were left. And it's probably more than 16,000 at this moment in time. It's probably, you know, quite a bit more. It's probably might have got up to like 19, maybe even 20K. Like I said, it's crazy. A lot of people, if you don't got nothing nice to say, um, about a situation and whatnot, then you, you just need not to say nothing. Just keep your comments directly to yourself because, again, this dude is emotionally, he's going through some stuff. For a lot of people to say that, yo, stop expressing your stuff, just hold that stuff in, then, uh, yeah, that stuff in, and just toughen up and yada, it's crazy. Like, that's going to be detrimental to his, uh, to his health. This is why a lot of your male friends are out there smoking through life, drinking through life, uh, just going through women and women through life because they need something to take their mind off of whatever emotions that they've never gone through because all men are sitting up here saying, tuck that in, hold it in, all this, man, oh my God. Like I said, this is why a lot of guys are dying at, uh, at young ages because of advice like that. I'm just gonna sit up there. Matter of fact, let me, let me just broaden this. This is why a lot of men are dying at young ages because of stuff like this because men are dealing with stress and all other types of things that go on and uh, guys don't release a lot of that energy, that built up energy and frustration and, and that anger and, 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 and all that sadness, whatever it is. They don't release none of that. They just hold it in. And it's only so much your body can actually hold before something breaks. So like I said, for a lot of y'all believing that, yo, he just needs to suck it up and hold it in, you, you're going to have a real tough life. And nine times out of 10, a lot of guys giving that advice, they're single. They don't have no kids. They don't have nobody to look out for them. Or if they do have kids, their kids ain't really been in their life. They don't really know nothing about their kids. You know, it's a standoffish type of deal. And you're just going to be sitting up there in the home. You, you, Like I said, a lot of these dudes giving this advice, you are one stroke away one stroke away from being in a home and you're going to be there by yourself with all of those emotions and you're going to have to go through those because that's the only thing that you're going to be able to do because either your whole body or your part of your body is not going to work as well as it used to and you're going to need somebody else to sit up there and do everything for you because you can no longer do it so like i said have directly at it knock yourself right on out keep giving that same advice that's going to sit up there and put you in a home and let me know how that works out for you